What's good YouTube, it is your main man the source Kasuna here and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on being a pro katana player. Without any further ado, let's run the intro. In Torm Online, there are many ways to cancel your auto attacks. The community has named this trick auto attack cancelling. As the name suggests, you can cancel your auto attacks with certain skills. With Katana, there are three types of auto attack cancelling that I think are very important. The first one, being the easiest among the bunch, is Shukuchi auto attack cancelling. The second, being Tenryu auto attack cancelling. And the third, being Sheath auto attack cancelling. Among these three, the hardest I would say is definitely Tenryu auto attack cancelling. Because the animation of the skill is sometimes inaccurate, many players go based off of the sound effect. For me, due to my arthritis, I find it a little bit more difficult to do this as I have to react to the sound. To do Tenryu auto attack cancelling, it's a little bit straightforward. In between your Tenryu attacks, you tend to do an auto attack anyway, but there's actually a trick to get the speed a little bit more fast, and that's what we call Tenryu auto attack cancelling. You can cancel your auto attack into a Tenryu if you go based on the sound effect of your auto attack. Here, you see me do an auto attack, and then I cancel it into a Tenryu. The moment I hear the sound of the auto attack, I instantly press Tenryu. And then we have a successful Tenryu auto attack cancel. Some also say that sheath auto attack cancelling is the hardest. However, I just feel like it's the least known one. To do sheath auto attack cancelling, you first have to do Tenryu, similar to with Tenryu auto attack cancelling. But instead of doing Tenryu after your auto attack, you move slightly to the side after your auto attack, and you get another auto attack. Many players use this form of auto attack cancelling to keep a healthy proration. Last but not least, is Shukuchi auto attack cancelling. In the katana skill tree, there's a skill known as Shukuchi. It works as a passive. This passive allows you to dash forward. If you dash forward and do an auto attack, you can run backwards slightly and do another auto attack as soon as your auto attack animation finishes. This isn't technically auto attack cancelling, but it allows for faster attack MP recovery. Now that we have auto attack cancelling out of the way, let's move on to our next tip. Next we will go over balancing your stat. In Torm Online, Katana has three main stats you should focus on. Critical damage, short range damage, and unsheath attack. Attack is pretty good too, but that's something you should get passively through building your character. Depending on whether or not you use NPC or player craft, you want to build your stats differently. You see this in many build guides that I make. To find out which balance of stats you need, first you want to determine what stats you get from your gear already. When you're using NPC gear, typically short range damage and unsheathed attack are not a priority, as you already get them from the weapon's base stats. Because of this, many players that use NPC instead focus more so on attack and critical damage, as that is what they lack. Some also add attack speed to the list of important stats for Katana, as it also contributes to your damage output. A mistake I see very often in a Katana community is over-focusing certain stats. I see some players that overfocus on short range damage or unsheathed attack, when really you just want a balance of all of the stats so that you can stack those multipliers better. I won't go into specifics in this video, but do check out Corn Club's stat calculator. You can determine if your build may need changes based on the stat balance. Typically, when balancing your stat, you want around 150 unsheathed attack, 190 critical damage, and 120 short range damage. That's the sweet spot that I find personally. Credits go to Tamyo for this trick, but here's a rather unknown trick that I just found out. In the Dual Swords class, there's a skill known as Flash Blast. If you use this skill with Dual Swords, you get a 25% weapon attack bonus. Some say that this information is rather useless, but in fact, it isn't. If you equip Dual Swords and then Dry Cast Flash Blast, you can then switch to your Katana gear and you'll get the benefits of the buff. This can be done both in battles and in boss battles. With the katana class, the 1 HP trick is a very important trick to know, because a lot of bosses span fractional damage. And because we're human, we can't just iframe every single attack that the boss does. And due to that, here's something that'll give you a little bit more ease in battles. If you're at 1 HP and the boss does a fractional damage, you won't take damage at all, due to the way that the fractional scaling works in Torm Online. I don't know the exact nitty gritty, but this trick has been very very useful for me. Recently, the ninja skills in Torm Online have received a buff 
but since the beginning of the ninja skills, there's been a trick that's remained to be very useful on Katana. This trick is actually a trick with using Tenryu and Kunai in a combo together. With this combo, you get the advantages of having smited Tenryu, while losing the disadvantages of proration. Kunai does one half of normal auto attack proration. And because of the way proration works, where damage sees a noticeable decrease after two hits, the kunai trick is actually very overpowered. Be very careful, as this trick can burn through your MP pretty fast. However, if you have the Burning Spirit Registlay, I won't see this being much of a problem. And that tip goes into our next tip, the Burning Spirit Registlay. In the katana skill trees, there's a skill known as Kariki Ranshi. This skill being a skill that increases your attack MP recovery, as well as inflicting Ignite on you, combining it with the Burning Spirit Registlet can prove to be a very mighty combination, as you'll see a very high attack MP recovery gain from this combination. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this far into the video, and if you've made it this far, I've actually opened up a Discord server for Katana players. In this Discord server, we have a few pro Katana players that can help you with your build if you see that you need help. If you have any more questions, please be sure to join the server and ask us or the community. Without any further ado, thank you guys for watching this video, and please be sure to leave a like, and peace out.